In 2012, NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter takes an image that offers to shed new light on these mysteries. On February 12th, as the craft scans an ancient volcanic plain known as the Sea of Islands, it spots an unusual 130-foot-wide crater below it. I've studied a lot of craters on the moon. This is different, though. This is not only a regular. It looks like there's an object inside. It looks like something has smashed into the moon. It's really odd. The moon is covered with craters, the result of a heavy bombardment of rocks from space. But whatever landed here is no meteorite. We're not seeing the typical round shape or the rim that we normally find when we're trying to examine impact craters on the moon. When a meteorite hits, they come in at such speeds that they fragment completely. There's nothing left, they vaporize. When astronomers zoom in on the object in the crater, what they discover shocks them. Whatever this is, it's still intact. One possible suspect is the relic of a weird experiment carried out by NASA over four decades ago. On April 19, 1972, the Apollo 16 crew deliberately crashed their S-4B rocket booster into the moon. We had seismographs on the lunar surface that would have picked up the impact of the S-4B. The plan was to measure shock waves from the impact to learn more about the moon's internal structure. It was very valuable to those who were trying to develop from the seismograph signals a picture of the internal mass of the moon and what it was like. The 15-ton, 58-foot-long booster hurtled towards the moon's surface at over 500 miles per hour. But just before impact, NASA lost contact with it. This booster rocket has been really the subject of intense speculation, and, and we just don't know where it is. The length of the object in the image matches the Apollo booster. And scientists believe the huge cylinder is one of the few objects strong enough to withstand such a violent impact. Something like a rocket booster crashing down onto the surface of the moon is more likely to stay intact because it is built to withstand high pressures and temperatures. The idea that this could be the missing booster rocket from Apollo 16 is very plausible. It makes a lot of sense. It appears that after half a century of searching, the mystery of the disappearing Apollo booster may have finally been solved. We need higher resolution images to be sure, but NASA is pretty confident they finally found their missing booster after all these years.